Hey everyone, Teo here. Today I'm going to tell you why I prefer to use concepts over Procreate to create digital art. And let me start by saying that it is not possible to say which app is better because the functionality and the features for both apps are quite different. And also this is a raster graphics drawing app which means the art is created by individual pixels and there is a set resolution so if you zoom in all the way you will be able to see pixelation this concept is a vector graphics app so all the shapes and the lines that you see are actually based on mathematical formulas and if you zoom in all the way the visuals will still be very sharp and if you want to export this artwork, you can export it in whatever resolution that you want. For the style of art that I create, which is mainly line art with flat coloring, I prefer to use concepts. Let's talk about pricing. Procreate is a one-time purchase of 10 US dollars. And for that, you are going to get the whole app, including the many brushes. You will get, well, as many layers as you can get, depending on the amount of RAM you have on the iPad. As for Procreate, this is a freemium app, which means it's free to use. However, if you want to unlock the features and the tools, you have to pay. And there is an essential set which costs 10 US dollars, which will unlock maybe 95% of all the features. Both apps are really worth the money. However, for concepts, the number of brushes is more limited. So if you take a look here, there are just less than maybe 20 brushes and tools. So if you want to buy other brushes, you have to pay for them separately. So they add up. But for Procreate, you get like a lot of brushes. Procreate is probably the most popular drawing app on the iPad because it's affordable, it has a good feature set, and it's very user-friendly. However, if you want to use Procreate as your main illustration app, you have to understand that it's quite tedious to export all this out as Photoshop files because there are many. You can of course export a file like this as a Photoshop file with all the layers intact so that you can continue to draw and paint with Photoshop. So if you want to use Procreate as your main illustration app, you will have to continue to buy iPads in the future. And there is nothing wrong with that because the iPad or the different models of the iPads are fantastic tablets for drawing for creating digital art. Concepts is available on iPads, Windows, and Android. At the time of making this video, the concept files that you create on Windows and Android are interchangeable. So you can open the files on either Windows or on Android. However, with concepts on iPad, you can only open the files with concepts on iPad. So you cannot open this file on these two tablets. The developers are working towards convergence uh, in the future, so that may mean that regardless of which concepts you're using on which OS, you should be able to open those files in the future. If you happen to be using three different tablets, such as what I have here, you will have to pay for the app three times, unfortunately, because they are on different OS. Let's talk about file storage and backup. So all the Procreate files are stored on the iPad and for backup you can rely on Apple iCloud which will automatically backup the iPad including the Procreate files or you can transfer all these files out onto external storage. Procreate files can be huge and they can go up to hundreds of megabytes or even gigabytes so if you run out of storage on your iPad, you may have to transfer those Procreate files out onto external storage. For concepts on Windows and Android, the files are also stored internally on the tablet. And for backup on Windows, you can rely on Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive. I use Microsoft OneDrive because I use different Windows computers and all the files will be synchronized across all the different Windows computers. For concepts on Android, it's just backup with Google Drive. It 
does not sync or synchronize all the files across different Android tablets. So if you have another Android tablet and you want to open or see these files, you have to import all these files onto that other Android tablet. Let's talk about feature set. So Procreate definitely has a wider or larger feature set compared to Concepts because this is a raster graphics drawing and painting app. So it has adjustment tools and features, um, filters, selection tools, it has layer functionality, blending modes, and a lot of brushes. Concepts by comparison has very limited features and that is actually one of the main selling points of concepts um, because it does not have that many features it's a very simple app to use the main reason why i prefer to use concepts over procreate is i prefer to create vector art and when we think about vector art we usually associate vector art with clean lines and flat colors however with concepts they actually have some pretty good textured brushes so this app has managed to combine texture with vector to give you the best of both worlds so for example with this sketch um, this was drawn with the pencil brush and when I zoom in all the way the textures can still remain very sharp so I have texture and I have vector quality as well, which is pretty cool. For Procreate, this app can be used for illustration. It's great for line art and it's terrific for creating textures. You can create more textures compared to concepts but um, I really like the simplicity of this app. By the way, Concepts is great for taking notes as long as the notes are on a single page. So this is actually quite a huge uh, illustration, um, which brings me to the next point. Concepts has an infinite canvas, so you can actually continue to draw on and on and you will not run out of space. And if I were to create this illustration with Procreate, the file size is probably going to be hundreds of megabytes. With Concepts, this file is actually just 1.5 megabytes. Another thing I want to talk about is the coloring system. So Concepts has an interesting color system. By the way, the user interface design for Procreate and Concepts, they are both very minimalist. So you get like a huge amount of canvas space to draw without palettes on the side but you can of course expand the palettes if you want to so the coloring system yeah let me move this here concepts uses the copic coloring system so when you tap here you are going to get a fly out color wheel and you can choose colors um, very easily. If you want complementary colors, you just choose the color opposite the color wheel. And if you want to choose more saturated colors, you can choose colors that are closer, that are inside rather than outside. This is a very fun coloring system to work with. The downside is um, if you want to make colors darker, sometimes um, there are very limited choices uh, to darker colors. For example, with blue, if I want to have a very dark blue, um, you can see the choices are kind of limited. It's actually quite easy to use the color wheel to create your own color palette. Most of the colors, they actually work quite well together. For Procreate, I've actually purchased several color palettes so that it's easier for me to pick colors that work well together. If you don't buy color palettes, um, you can create your own, of course, out from the infinite number of colors that you have here. I don't actually have many negative things to say about Procreate, but for concepts, there are several huge downsides. So the first downside is there is no fill bucket tool. So if I want to fill this vertical rectangle with a color, I can't do that because there is no fill bucket. Instead, I will have to draw the shape. 
and depending on how easy it is to draw the shape for example here you can see my yellow is outside of the line uh, it can be quite challenging to fill the shape properly so let me try and fill this shape properly yep it's not easy i can see some gaps here with a proper fill bucket tool it's going to be so much easier and faster to color um, all this the other huge downside is there is no blending mode for the layers so for the shadows that you see here um, this is actually a transparent 100% um, black so it's actually 50% of 100% and when I draw different shapes, because I don't have the fill bucket, I would act actually have to draw the shadow shapes. Um, I cannot combine the shadow shapes. So for areas where the shapes overlap, you can see this and it doesn't look great. Another downside is the masking tool is not easy to use. So for example, if I want to mask out the trees here, um, I have to go to this layer first, choose the masking tool and just maybe mask out the area here. So this is the mask and if you have many masking strokes um, and you want to remove the mask, um, you have to select them individually or select them all and delete and remask again. So um, this is, I mean masking is not easy to use. Despite the downsides of concepts, I still prefer to use concepts because I prefer the vector quality. So let's take a closer look at some of the drawings or sketches or illustrations that I have created. This is an European street scene and I've drawn this in a squarish format because if I zoom in like this, I can use a horizontal composition and if i want a vertical composition i can do so as well i'll just crop it like this so that's one advantage to using concepts it has the infinite canvas so you can draw as much and as possible and choose your composition later and this is quite good for sketching outdoors because sometimes when you're sketching outdoors are uh, at least for me Sometimes I like to draw all the things that are happening, not just within the canvas space, but also outside of the canvas space. And with this app, I can do so. This um, is my daughter, Tiffany, under my table. Concepts is a fantastic app for sketching. Um, the pencil tool works really well. It looks really good as well. So for this, I just drew the lines and added colors beneath. The shadows, um, as mentioned earlier, because there is no blending tool, there is no multiply mode, I actually have to choose a darker brown to create the shadows. And if I want to change the color of the table, I will have to change the shadow color as well. So that's another downside. For Procreate, you can create a layer with multiply and if you want to change the color of the table you just change it and the shadow layer will just multiply onto the color so it's easier to do edits with uh, procreate in that sense this is a very simple line art with flat color uh, let's zoom in and have a look so the lines are very sharp and this is a very clean style uh, drawing that I like. Let's see how many layers I have. You can create as many layers as you want because file size is not a problem with concepts. You can create unlimited layers and it's not going to take up that much uh, space, storage space. You can use this app for sketching, for doodling, for taking notes. Um, it works great for that. By the way, I have several uh, drawing courses for concepts on Skillshare. So you may want to, if you want to learn concepts, you may want to check out those courses. Those are beginner courses. I will be creating more advanced or intermediate 
drawing courses for concepts so that you can learn how to create drawings or illustrations more detailed illustrations such as this and also this uh, this is actually quite detailed I probably took one hour to draw and paint this so the challenging part for this sketch is um, well having the patience to draw all the details most of the digital art that I create are architecture related because I love urban sketching oh I have urban sketching courses on Skillshare as well so it's either architecture sketches or drawings or sketches of my kids let me know in the comment section below which drawing apps you prefer and why all right see you guys in the next video bye